name and outlet, and then you may begin. Oh my goodness. Hi, I'm Kinsey Schofield with The Nocturnal. Hannah, you showed up today. Look at you. My goodness. This wall. It's for you. Here I am, blown away by the wall. I'm going... <gasps> I love you. Okay, Hannah, I have to um, I have to apologize in advance because I am in love with Jean Smart. And I'm sorry that you have to witness this. I mean, I, now I'm in love with you too, but the Jean Smart love is, you know... I, I exited my mom's womb and I was like Jean Smart. So this is new, but this is Jean and I are old, you know? Look, Kenzie, uh, all I have to say is get in line. Okay. It's a lot. <laughs> You're going to be waiting a while. Okay. Exactly. exactly. You're much closer than I am to her. So I'm, I'm, je I'm jealous. All right. Um, Jean, all right. I, I talked to Paul, Lucia, and Jen. They told me there was no one else in the world that they wanted to play Deborah Vance. Did you have the same feeling when you got your hands on the script? Were you like, this is mine? I, I took my meeting with them and I said, Are you guys what? I'm absolutely perfect for this. <laughs> I love it. Asked, which was my intention. Thank God. Um, uh, yeah, no, it, it was one of those things where it was like, and when I think of some roles that I play that I just really love, this has little bits and pieces of all of those women that all kind of came together in one woman. And um, I'm just really grateful. It's so much fun to watch. You guys are such a hoot. Do people still say that? Because I just did. Um, Hannah, I really enjoy watching your stand-up. And I was wondering, watching some of your stand-up, you do this, this, you make a cute face when you tell, you can tell that the audience is enjoying themselves. Is it weird to transition from that instant gratification, that instant reaction to being a stage performer, to being on a set that's quiet and having to do the same joke five times? It's a flawless wall, it's a flawless question, okay? It is terrifying, okay? The silence was so scary initially because I'm going, I'm bombing. I'm doing comedy and I'm delivering jokes and I'm bombing fully, you know? It, it was so hard to unlearn that silence is death. And I truly, I, I mean, it took me a second to really not be like, I'm doing a bad job. Like this means I'm doing a bad job, but they all come back from, you know, video village and they're like, great, great you know, great job, you know, and <laughs> that's a, not an accurate but impression of them, by the way, they don't, they don't do, that's not, that's, this is, this isn't completely fabrication. Um, but yeah, so it, it is a weird, a weird dichotomy of, um, responses to comedy um but well, yeah they're both great. you did a great job it was a you're a blast to watch and i'm so glad that i i, I know who you're you are and you're in my life now um we meet ava having a bit of a crisis because she's in the process of being canceled over a tweet this is way too realistic these days gene are you kind of grateful that this minefield didn't exist when you were first starting out Oh, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. No, I, I, you, you, you will make yourself insane, especially in this industry as a performer, if you were constantly trying to figure out what people think of you, what they want from you, um, you'll go mad. And so I, I, I believe very strongly in denial. I think denial is an extremely healthy state of mind to be in. Um, and and I've, I've, I don't tweet. I don't do anything like that. I'm a dinosaur. But the only time I've been tempted to get a tweet set up thing in all <laughs> was um, about re in reference to our our, our dear departed uh, president. Mm -hmm. that, that was inspirational for you. You almost went there. That's off my chest, big time. That was hard. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I, since you don't have a Twitter account, I don't know if you've seen that Scott from Pentatonix recently tweeted that hearing you scream the word Pentatonix was a career highlight, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, shout out of the year, I think. Oh, right Pentatonix knows what's up. Um, Hannah, is Twitter a crapshoot for comedians today? Because I noticed you deleted yours. I did delete my Twitter. 
Um, it caused me nothing but pain. Um, Twitter is a terrifying landscape. It is um, so I get my news. I can get my news elsewhere. That was a, what kept me there. I was like, I need to know what's you know. I, I have many other apps that help me with that that I'm able to turn on notifications for. Twitter became this like waste of time and energy, and I felt like I was writing jokes for Twitter and not for stage because I only got into it during the pandemic. Because before I was like, I, I, I don't know how to, I, I um, but I deleted it because it was really like, um, I would like log on and just be, re like I, I, I would feel really bad. It, there's so much negativity um, on there and I got enough in here. Right. It, just all day, chirp, chirp, chirp. I, I, I don't need more, you know? So I had to go, I had to go. I had to get out of there. I'm next. I'm next. I promise you. It's not my favorite place either. Um, Jean, where? I, oh, no, this is this is wrong. I was going to say, where did the Deborah Wax figure end up? I like to think it's in your living room. I found out you are the Deborah Wax figure. What an icon. <laughs> what did you, how did you do that? That was, I mean, I'm literally sitting here thinking, I hope everybody got a selfie for their Christmas card, but it's you. <laughs> That's true. The hardest part was keeping my eyes open. Oh, and then the way that the younger versions of you, I mean, I thought I was literally watching you. The the way that they have done this show, it is, I just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm in love with it. It's so beautiful. Um, I also wanted to know who came up with the fountain drink in the house concept, because that is like li literally goals. You, you, that's what you want. That's how you know you've made it best i know no they that was in the script and um this every this the crew everything on this show is so incredible i remember like they treat me like gold uh, they came up to me and they said like our you know our prop gal and she's saying okay what kind of sodas would you like in the dispenser in your kitchen you know and the set decorator wanted to know what my favorite flowers were i have fresh flowers all over the set all day um was amazing man you you sure are a special gal another thing the uh set designer incredibly talented man john john what's his last name let's start with a p right we can look it up on mark i'll google it okay. ah. he, he showed me there's a plaster there's plaster trim kind of on the wainscoting in the beautiful living room and it's sort of a an acanthus leaf or something in another shape and a leaf in another shape. And he said, look closely at that. What, what does that other shape look like to you? I said, I said, those are tongues. He said, I know, I did that just before. <laughs> you call yourself a mouthy broad. I was like, I mean, no one is going to notice that except he did it for me, for my character. That is brilliant. Um, I only have a few more minutes with you. Um, you antique a lot on the show. Can you tell me what the last vintage item you purchased was or the, your last eBay win? Yes, actually, when we were shooting in that, in that antique store in the show, I saw a sign, an old sign, Scottish sign that says Stony Bray. And it found out it's a little town east of Glasgow. And it looks like it may be hung in a rain a rail station or next to a railroad track or something you know, like if you're getting near Stony Bray. And I bought that and I hung it outside on my, what's supposed to be my potting shed, but it's sort of my she shed. I love it. Hannah, what, what's your last vintage purchase? My last vintage purchase is a muscle tea that says, trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy. I love it. Okay, well, you guys, this show is going to blow up. You're so precious. I love it. And I can't wait to see what happens with everything. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Kinsey. Bye. Have a great day.